Hey everyone, Exploit here, and welcome to Dauntless, the monster hunting game made by Epic Games. This game combines the features of, say, Fortnite, World of Warcraft, and Monster Hunter. So, think no more. Definitely buy this game. Here are the five reasons why. It might seem like a lot to do in this game, but it's actually quite simple. If you just go to your menu, you'll see everything that you need to familiarize yourself with. For example, the map will show you where to go to battle each type of monsters. Say they're neutral, blaze, frost, shock, and other behemoths that will be up and coming in future updates. You get a little backstory within each quest, your objectives, and what rewards you'll receive for completing each quest. There are also challenges, hunt pass challenges. So similar to Fortnite guys, you'll have a hunt pass. This hunt pass has the basic and elite levels. So basically like Fortnite, this would be the battle pass. The elite rank will give you all these different types of rewards. If you decide to buy the elite version, you'll get specific rewards similar to Fortnite. For example, you can get sigils. You can get transmog stones that allow you to change the appearance of one item into another. You'll have signal flares, which are really cool, as well as platinum that you can use to buy in-game items. And of course, you can get different types of emotes. This one being the last of the elite pass and also being my favorite, the ninja emote threat display. So cool. So you might think that you have to pick one specific class to level up in Dauntless, and this is not true. In Mastery, you can see that you can level up every single type of weapon, as well as every subclass of that weapon. Axe Affinity, Chains Blades Affinity, Hammer Affinity, Repeaters Affinity, Warpike Affinity, and the Sword Affinity. Each one with a different subclass that you can use when fighting different monsters. Trust me guys, there is a lot that is undiscovered and there will be continuous updates to this game. So you will have something to do every single time you log in. Under each type of behemoth and each type of weapon mastery, you can see rewards. For example guys, Mastery Slayer level two will unlock the consumable slot two. These consumable slots can be found on the bottom right of your screen. If you go to your loadout on the bottom right, they will appear here and you can edit these. In my first slot, I'll have the health potion. This is always the default. You can't pick anything besides health potions in the first slot, but the second, third, and fourth, you can choose whatever you like. Choose what you would like to go into battle with, but remember that some of these are limited to a certain amount that you can bring to battle. For example, the airstrike beacon, you can only bring one. However, barrage grenades, other types of grenades, as well as the blitz tonic, you can bring up to five during each hunt. Something really cool about your loadout is that it's very easy to change. You can pick from different weapon types and they'll all appear here. We're using the Ember Blades plus one right now. And within these, you can change all the mods to them. For example, we're using the Reaper's Dance as our ultimate ability, as well as our push off ability. Right now we have no mods equipped, but we have two different types of cells, the Evasive Fury Cell and the Fleet Footed Cell to make us a quick and sneaky ninja. We also have a transmog that you can choose to change the appearance of each of your weapons. As you level up and unlock new ones, you only need one transmog stone to change the appearance. Some are even free as we can see here with our chest piece. This chest piece, I can make it look like a ninja using this cosmetic item. Pretty cool, huh? There are so many different options for all gear sets and there really isn't going to be anyone that's going to look alike from each other. Personality wise, you can also change this. You can change your title, sigil and banner, emote, signal flare and hunt arrival. For the title, I don't have anything unlocked yet, but I can't wait to see what titles I'll be able to choose once I defeat different behemoths. Sigil and banner, I decided to stay with the ninja appearance. My emotes, pretty cool too. I have a ninja throwing stars, which I really like. Signal flares as well. I can use my assassin strike one when I'm in game and press C to signal the flare to get my hunting buddies over to my location. And of course the hunt arrival once you show up to a specific location. I cannot wait to unlock the moon blossoms. Ninja baby. The hunts are really, really awesome, guys, and the monsters can be quite ferocious. 
make sure that you loot a lot of things during these hunts and you don't go straight to the monster. There is a lot to do and a lot to pick up in order to help level up your gear, such as weapons and armors. Holy crap. Okay, anyways, guys, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ho, ho. And I'll see you guys huh, in the very next video. Can you stop? That's what I thought. Oh shit.